A wipe in Escape from Tarkov would be actually helpful for the game and in this video I'm going to show you why. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and don't get me wrong, this is not going to be a rent battle state games, rent Nikita and rent everybody escape from Tarkov video. Nope, this should be a video from the community for the community based on some feedback and some very interesting statistics. So why do I think a Y would be very nice in the next couple of days or weeks? First of all, Escape from Tarkov is still a beta and I think Battlestate games should test even more. And that's why we need some wipes. If you don't wipe and if you make some major and tremendous changes, especially like changes with the economy like we had in patch 12.9 and 12.10, it's very hard for the player base and very hard to keep the player base motivated because many players could benefit from the very high Bitcoin selling GPUs, selling the Bitcoin itself, and they could save a lot, a lot of money. Of course, bad luck for every player who joined after the Bitcoin nerf. Right now, Bitcoin is worth 200 to 300k, which is still a good price, don't get me wrong, but you can't compare the 2 to 300k with the 800 to 900k Bitcoin, 1.5 to 1.8 million rubles for one GPU and the craft for the GPU was even better. No termite and all of that stuff was in the game. So it was a lot easier to make money or let's say a lot more efficient to make money. It's still not a big deal to make money, but there is a big gap between the rich kids and the poor plebs on the ground. I'm sorry to say like that, but a lot of players have a very rough time even right now at the end of the wipe. And just a little bit off topic right now, if you have a hard time and if you face a lot of high gear player, don't give up, play Tarkov. You have to learn to get better. Just a little bit of off topic thing right now. I want to motivate you guys out there. Keep on playing, you need the experience. The wipe isn't that far away. I think we will get a wipe pretty soon. And that brings me to my next point. Nikita said that if they would announce a wipe, nobody would play the game anymore. And I think he is wrong. But, and that's very, very important, Nikita likes to fool the player base. So it's very important. Don't take him serious for 100%. And I thought about, okay, let's say they would announce a wipe like next week with some pre-event stuff like every scav is a raid and all of that and everything is pretty cheap on the market. And my thoughts would be, this is the final sprint to the next swipe. Waste all your money, try out what you ever you like. You can go laps, waste everything. Or let's make like the open laps weekend or week or whatever. Go on laps, play what you like, play different stuff. It doesn't matter anymore. And that's why I made the poll and I asked you guys out there Let's say the wipe would be in the next couple of days or weeks. Would you invest more time in Escape from Tarkov, less time or no difference at all? And the result is quite interesting. From over 2200 votes, 50% voted they would play more. So Battlestate Games would announce they will wipe in the future, let's say days, weeks, whatever, 50% would play more. 35% no difference. That means 85% would play more or without any difference escape from Tarkov. Only 15% voted they would play less. Only 15% guys. So this is the complete opposite to what Nikita mentioned. And I have to admit, I expected a result like this. Not with 50% more, but let's say between 30 and 50 percent, almost every Tarkov player I know would play more Escape from Tarkov. And also the result from our next question to you guys out there, how many new players do we have in Escape from Tarkov? 4 percent, 2 weeks or less. 15 to 30 days, 6 percent. And that's also very interesting, only 10 percent are playing Escape from Tarkov 30 days or less. 1 to 2 months are 18 percent, 3 to 6 months 30% and over 6 months 43%. This is also a very interesting result because 30% started with patch 12.9, roughly a little bit earlier or a little bit after the wipe and that means they made a lot of mistakes, they suffered a lot and they are or they maybe think they are ready for the next wipe. They want to have a reset, they want to have an almost equal chance to get a little bit better, a little bit better into the next wipe 
and gain some more and some new and some different experience from the game. So if you start like in the f in your first wipe, your second wipe will be completely different. You have a different sense for Escape from Tarkov. I and mean, that's why, in my opinion, a wipe is so interesting, especially if it's your second wipe. Your first wipe is like you are completely overwhelmed and your second wipe you are a little bit more confident or you should be a little bit more confident not everything is completely new to you so that's why i think this next wipe could also be a fresh boost to escape from tarkov because we gained a lot new players with patch and the wipe 12.9 but right now it should be time to wipe and give us patch 12.11, the factory expansion. And if they don't wipe with patch 12.11, Lighthouse in, I hope, July or August would be my next guess. I think July is very nice with Lighthouse, a new map. So we have more maps in Escape from Tarkov. Maybe the player base is spreading a bit more to the different maps. But of course, I have no clue about Lighthouse at all right now. And I think it would be very useful to give the player base some fresh and new content to keep the game also very fresh and tight. Nikita also mentioned, and I don't take him seriously, they have the ETS, the Escape from Tarkov test server. They don't have to wipe if they want to test something. But the big problem with the ETS is who cares about the ETS? Because, and don't get me wrong, the ETS is nice, but as far as I know, you are not allowed to talk or make videos about the ETS, stream the ETS, and the access is limited. So yes, you can test out some things on the ETS, but without making videos or without showing you guys out there something about it, it's very hard to hype for something if you can't show it and just talk about it. So I think the ETS, the ETS could be a very nice tool to test out some things in Escape from Tarkov or to be a little bit more risky. Everything could be possible, but allow the people to talk about it and allow the people to show videos and make videos about it. And my last and most obvious reason why a wipe would be very nice and escape from Tarkov is not everybody would run the same weapon, the same gear over and over again. It's so boring, get killed by an M4, loot an M4 or 416 with 9M5 all the time. It's very, very boring. And the best experience in escape from Tarkov is the first or two weeks different crappy weapons with crappy ammo and cra crappy uh, silly play styles from different players on, on different maps. That's what Tarkov should be. So the wipe shouldn't be the solution with this problem. I think we have a big lack of endgame and the endgame stuff, the high tier stuff and the high meta stuff is too easy to get. Like buying the best stuff all the time. If you find a way how to make money, it's too easy for you to run the best stuff all the time. Of course, you can get killed by pretty shitty guns. That's that's not the point. But running the best stuff so easily all the time, it's a big problem. And I really hope they find a way to make this high super Navy SEAL, super sniper, super Saiyajin stuff a little bit harder to get. The problem is not that everything is so powerful, the problem is how easy it is to play that powerful weapons over and over and over again and there is no real challenge at all. To lose something and to die in Escape from Tarkov should be more painful than it is right now with your high tier stuff because if you have the money you really don't care about that stuff right now because you can buy every item over and over again and the people who really suffer from this are the new player of course tarkov shouldn't be fair tarkov is not a fair not a balanced game and that's not the, that point tarkov shouldn't be fair to every player of course if you spend more time into tarkov farming or get more experience you should get a bigger reward that's normal and tarkov shouldn't be fair to everybody okay guys right now it's your turn i'm really interested about your opinion about this whole wipe and game stuff in escape from tarkov write a comment in the comment section below and don't forget we are streaming on twitch escape from tarkov as always don't forget to like this video because we germans want to win at least something and if it's your like for this video i would really appreciate it stay safe and jump to the next video comrade